What's up goats, today we're going to be reviewing Modern Warfare 2's campaign, and yes, I know the title is weird, and doesn't make any sense, but who cares. Now I know it's been a few weeks since the game launched, but it's finally here, so stop bitch. Also stick around after the review for an announcement on which game series I'll be reviewing next. So let's just jump right in. Last well, do we have confirmation? Watch your 1 to Bravo 07. You in position? This mission, you're introduced as Ghost in the fictional city of Al Mazra, and holy shit, this game looks good. But General Shepard, as well as Kate Laswell from the first game, are talking to you. You make your way up these rocks and use the binos to locate an arms dealer by the name of General Gobrani, who is selling weapons to Iran. Once you spot him, then you get introduced to Philip Graves, who is the leader of a private military called Shadow Company. He launches a ballistic missile, and you have to guide it through the mountains right into Gobrani's face. Couldn't have said it better myself, Ghost. Then you get a title card. Then the game cuts to several months later, and Lazarus reports to Shepard that Gabrani's second in command is planning something. Then the mission ends. I'll give it a okay. 7 out of 10. It looks great and brings back Ghost while also setting up the villain of the story. Bravo team offloads here. Alpha team stays on board to land down range. Both teams meet in the middle. Remember, we want a son alive. But this is capture or kill. This mission you introduced to Sergeant John Soap McTavish, who Ghost does not seem to like. Fuck you. Your objective in this mission is to capture or kill Gabrani's second in command, Mr. Hassan. Right now, Hassan is supplying weapons to the Al Qatal, which is the terrorist group from the first game. So you put on your night vision goggles and start moving. It doesn't take long before shit hits the fan, and in this case, your chopper gets shot down. There are survivors, so you go to rescue them. You run through this field and start approaching the house. Ghost hammers the door and you clear it. Now you start engaging across the street, but you move up and start to clear the next house. And these motherfuckers are like Vietnam soldiers hiding in holes and shit. You make your way upstairs and this dude gets shit on, so you flash and smoke the Bastard. Enemy rockets down. Holy fuck, dude, you're flashed for like nearly 10 seconds. Requeez about to come in at this point. You shit on the flasher and his wife goes for the gun, so I drop her. You move back downstairs and regroup outside. You and Ghost run to the chopper and there's only two survivors, but we can't help since motherfuckers are pulling up, so now it's time to defend. After defending against ground infantry and APCs, you get some air support and start to move out again and search for Hassan. You reach this field and start getting sniped at, so you have to counter snipe. Then you have to take turns moving up and then counter sniping. Eventually, there's too many, so you just call in air support to shit on the building. Now you enter the building and start searching for Hassan. First floor is clear so you move up the stairs and ghost shits on this dude hard. Welcome to the rice fields, motherfucker! This part is pretty hard your first time through since these fuckers legit hide anywhere. Like, what the fuck is that shit? You find Hassan's coat, so he's gone. Since we wasted time securing the crash site, Ghost says, Choices have consequences. You then start to clear an unmarked warehouse, but you get ambushed and see Jesus. You clear the warehouse and investigate this container that seems to have controls in it. Then it turns into a goddamn ballistic missile launcher from the Americans. Yeah, remember that big ass nuke in the first mission? Yeah, the terrorists have one. So Shepard isn't very happy, but luckily Laswell can find out who had these missiles before them. But Shepard makes a good point, so the the missiles get destroyed and the mission ends. I'll give it an 8 nice. out of 10. It sets up a lot of plot, but overall pretty fun. Well, that's where we're in position. This mission you play as Kyle Garrick from the first game, but now he's Gaz, so that's what I'll call him. Originally, Price and Gaz were in Amsterdam, tracking a terrorist cell, but now your mission is to find out who the terrorists are working with. So you enter the harbor and start swimming. And let me know if I'm wrong, but I think this is the first time in a Modern Warfare game that has actual swimming, and it looks pretty good. But you only have your knife for now, so you start to stealth kill all these guards. It's a pretty cool sequence, since you can swim under the docks to get better angles. After you kill everyone on the docks, even the innocent families, you meet up with Price and start to infiltrate the terrorist boat. Price shits on these two idiots and finds a Mexican cartel tattoo on one of the goons, so that's who's working with the terrorists. You breach the door and shit on everyone inside. You reach the bathroom and I kill the dude taking a shit and loot his phone and see that there's a meeting taking place. Then the mission ends. Honestly, that mission was way longer than I made it look, but most of it's just clearing the dock, so I'll give it this one a 6 okay. out of 10. It's not that good. Bravo 6 to what you want. Position at the cafe. Two of the tables, my 3 o'clock, one cartel, one Iranian. 
This mission still playing as Gaz. You and Laswell are walking through Amsterdam, and Gaz looks like an average Brit, and I can say that since <coughs> soccer score. <coughs> you find cartel guards, so you stick one with this drug, and it knocks him out. You then find out Hassan is in Mexico, and now have to capture the terrorist member. So you meet up with Price, and he gives you a decoy grenade. So you plant it in the dumpster and take out the guards. Price takes the dude hostage, and now this fucking part is hard. Okay, three guys show up, and you have to shoot him. But there's civilians everywhere and it's hard to spot where they actually are. But after you clear the area, you sedate the cartel member and hop in the car. Then the mission ends. I give it a 4 out of 10. It was super short and it kind of felt like a tech demo since the city was super beautiful. Copy. Where's FBI on this? FBI's an hour out. Right now you're all we got. Stand by. Rodolfo, los migrantes son una distracción. This mission you're introduced to Alejandro Vargas and Rudolfo, who are Mexican special forces. They're at the US-Mexico border looking for Hassan. Playing as Rudolfo, but I'm gonna call him Rudy from now on, you find their boat and make your way through to the voices. All you have is a pistol, but you drop these dudes with no help from Alejandro who has an assault rifle by the way. But unfortunately Hassan has already crossed over, but as a Mexican special forces you have no jurisdiction in the US. But I harnessed my inner Mexican heritage and hopped the border anyway. You start moving through this trash neighborhood and tell this dude to settle down. You cross the street and enter this garage. You enter this house and fuck he thought he was gonna do with that bat, bitch. You reach the alley and see some cartels so you drop him, but they aimbot me and I die. You move up and enter this house and have to detain these gangsters. You move outside and get detained by some cops. Ah see that's not realistic at all, in real life they would have just opened fire on me but thankfully Laz will send them Holy fuck! Now you're in a gunfight and have to clear the street. After that, you start clearing the inside of the house. I shoot on this dude in the kitchen and move up the stairs. After shooting on the dude in the bathroom, a cutscene plays where Rudy gets jumped and Hassan comes out. They start to burn the house down and leave Rudy to burn to death, which really doesn't make sense. But at this point, Rudy tells Alejandro something's crossing the Atlantic, thinking he's gonna die. But the goat Alejandro saves him. Then the mission ends. I'll give it an 8 okay. out of 10. It's pretty cool seeing the Mexican special forces and cartel in the game, but I honestly thought Rudy should have died there to raise the stakes a little bit. This mission you play as Soap and now Task Force 141 is working with Mexican Special Forces to find Hassan in cartel territory. You make your way into the village and start fighting. You move into this house and clear it. Then you get some info about Alejandro that he keeps his family a secret to protect them. You reach the final house and start to clear it. You move up the stairs and I get shit on by some fucker hiding under the table. But you clear the room and find out Hassan was here but they just moved him. But now the Mexican army is showing up but they're enemies since they get paid by the cartel. The shitty ass armored enemies showed up and they take so many fucking bullets to kill and I'm realistic they are really fucking annoying. You start getting gas, so you hop out the window and make your way down the mountain. This dude gets sniped, but I couldn't even make it down the mountain in time. This section is pretty cool since you have to run down the mountain and then take cover to defend for a bit. You keep moving down while also shitting on the army chasing till you reach this part where this dude gets fucked by an RPG. After you clear the area, Alejandro says, Anyone hit? Negative. Good to go. Yeah, everyone except that dude, but whatever. You run out of mountains, so you have to jump across the cliffs to progress. You reach another hill and have to defend for a bit. After you clear the area, you run up the hill and have to reach that bridge for extraction. You jump across some cliffs and have to shimmy your way across, and this dude gets sniped. You follow Alejandro some more and slide down. Now you have to jump. Now you have to swim to the bridge, but motherfuckers don't give you a break, so you have to fight in the water while the current is pushing you down. It's a pretty cool section. Eventually you reach shallow water and are pretty fucked until Graves and Shadow Company shows up with an AC-130 and levels the bridge. You follow Alejandro and the mission ends. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. It was really unique and one of my favorite missions in the game. This mission you play as Shadow One and have to support Soap, Ghost, and Alejandro on the ground while they search for Hassan. It's an AC-130 mission, so uh, yeah. You search around for weapons, and once you find them, you just light those bastards up. Oh, and you can't shoot the buildings yet. You start to clear the area, and the ground unit moves in on the stables, and a bunch of cartel members come out, so you shit on them. And look at this fucker, move, bro! You clear the area again and use the big boy missile to level the stables. You move to the greenhouse and just shit on that bitch. So it turns out Hassan is in the compound, which is pretty obvious. Like, what would you choose? A big ass compound with walls and gates and shit? Or a shitty ass greenhouse? More reinforcements arrive, so you shit on them and take down the water tower. But in my game, it was already broken, so when I shot it, it just stood up and fell again. You blow open the gate for the ground unit and shit on everyone's side. Then they start clearing it, looking for Hassan, and you spot the bastard running. You clear the courtyard and they finally capture Hassan. After you destroy the reinforcements, the mission ends. I'll give it a 7 okay. out of 10. It's an AC-130 mission, so it's a little boring. But at least we're done with AC-130 missions. Approaching. Hello. 
approaching a town to the north, crew. Off the trigger. Be advised, friendlies have stopped on the road. Okay, I guess we aren't fucking done. I'm gonna go through this one pretty quickly since it's pretty much doing the same thing the whole mission. So basically, they get jumped on the street, so they move to this building to wait for evac. So you spend the whole mission defending their position, and it's somehow even more boring than last mission. But they have RPGs now, so you occasionally have to launch flares to stay in the air. After they extract a cutscene place where they're interrogating Hassan, and this dude is really fucking annoying. I'll speak your bastardized medieval English. Because you're all uneducated street dogs. <sighs> and he also gets butthurt whenever Soap mentions Gabrani. But General Gabrani, do not speak his name! But technically, if we kill Hassan, it would be an act of war against Iran. So we just have to let him go. But we get some info from his phone. Then mission ends. I'll give it a 4 out of 10. It was pretty boring. It was just pretty much for nothing since we had to let Hassan go in the end. Bravo. What do you have? Bravo, how copy? Solid watcher. Two down. This mission you play as Gaz, and you, Price, and Laswell for some reason are infiltrating this hatchery owned by the cartel to look for the missing missiles. So this mission is obviously an homage to all gillied up from COD 4, and does a pretty good job of it. Now you start crawling forward and see some snipers. So you shit on him. And this is what you'll be doing for a lot of this mission, which is fine since you are a sniper. But you spot a container truck, like the one the missiles come in. You crawl through this tunnel and now have graduated to crouching until you have to get down and wait for a patrol to pass. And this motherfucker happens to step right on top of me. But after that, you take out some dudes and start to move up again. This is where they introduce the backpack system. Where you open it and have all your nades in there and can choose which one you want. You walk up and the sniper takes up like 50% of your screen. But you see the truck moving again. So you move to the tree line and start moving to the hatchery. And this is when you can have a conversation with Laswell. And it's a pretty good banter. Well, in fairness, he was probably potty trained by then, Kane. Still am, sir. But we'll check your ghillie suit when this is over. No, we'll check yours too, Captain. You reach a perfect sniping ridge and start taking out all the guards, with Price calling out the distance. It's a really cool part, but it does take a while. After you clear the area, you now have to run all the way down there, but then you get stopped and have to hide again. After running for about 10 years, you reach the first warehouse, and there's multiple ways you can clear it. I throw in some gas and take out bitches from above, and those dudes that pass us on the mountain somehow hear the commotion and come running down. You check the container and it's just drugs and shit, so you start moving to the second warehouse, and it's more or less the same. Throw the gas in and drop the dudes running out, but if you die here, you have to clear the first warehouse again which is super bullshit but you search the area and find the gta 5 map but also a diagram of some tunnels under the lighthouse so you start moving to it you then have to shit on more guys and run up but you have to do another hiding thing and i don't know if my game glitched or what but for the life of me i couldn't do this part stealthy so I just shit on everyone. After running for another 10 years, you start clearing the buildings. The last one has a secret entrance to the tunnels, like fucking Breaking Bad. You slide down the rope and walk through the tunnels. You clear the area and Laswell gets captured. Why the, why the fuck was she even there? Fucking stupid. Then the mission ends. I'll give it an okay. 8 out of 10. It was definitely the longest mission in the game, but it was pretty fun. I just still don't know why Laswell was there, though. Hey, convoy's inbound. We're on. Copy that. Over to the HLZ now. Good. This mission is still playing as Gaz. You and Price are attempting to rescue Laswell from the terrorist forces since they are trying to get her into al -Majra. And since Shepard's hands are tied, Price calls up a familiar friend to help out. But Nikolai also makes his appearance here, and you're in the back of his chopper just clearing out all the vehicles in the convoy. Not gonna lie, this shit is pretty tough, especially when the armored bastards come out, since you kinda have to lead your shots. You keep clearing the highway for a few minutes until... What the fuck? This shit is so sick, and it's probably the most unique thing I've seen in a COD campaign. Although it is really fucking cool, there is really no challenge since it's a scripted sequence. Eventually, Gaz cuts the rope and lands on the truck. Then you have to jump to another truck and hijack it. Bro, what the fuck am I playing? COD or Uncharted? You can also lean out and shoot your gun, and also get on the roof to jump to another truck. After leapfrogging for a while, you reach this part of the highway, where it's just a bunch of civilian cars blown up, and you see that there's a truck just dumping mines in order to stop you. You kill the dude tossing mines and reach Captain Price and take the grenade launcher off his back. You have to stay on this truck for a while and play shooting gallery, but eventually you start hopping to the other trucks again. Then an APC shows up and it hits super fucking hard very distracts it so you can jump on top and shit on the dude and c4 that bitch the convoy finally stops and you clear out the enemies and move up to laswell's car then she kind of does a cliche like ah let me finish him uh, you know type deal but you split off from Farah and the mission ends i really want to since it's my favorite mission but i can't give it a 10 the vehicle part just goes on for a little bit too long but other than that nine nice. out of ten really amazing mission Shadows on station. 
Copy. All set here. This mission you play as Soap and are tasked with finding out who the Mexican cartel leader is and interrogate them on where the other missiles are since the cartel are in charge of transporting them. Soap then gives himself up and gets taken inside. Alejandro, like the goat he is, is already inside and undercover as a guard and he tells you to tell the truth no matter what or they'll kill you. Then you meet this douchebag named Diego and start following him and he walks like he just shit himself. He beats this guy's ass and you follow him into the room where you meet Elsa Nombre's right hand man or should I say woman? <laughs> This is Valeria, and she's interrogating these dudes for some information. She interrogates you and the dude who's still alive, and you tell the truth about the Mexican Special Forces, Shadow Company, and Philip Graves. They shit on this dude and somehow trust you enough to let you see the boss. So you walk back to the elevator and get to meet Alejandro again. You put on a mask and are free to roam around, but now you have to get to the penthouse where the boss is. There's a bunch of different ways to get there, but I head to the garage and grab this crossbow, which will definitely be a DLC weapon in the future, by the way. But I head up to the roof and shit on these two dudes, and Alejandro meets me on the roof. We go into the elevator shaft and get off on the penthouse floor. I grab the shotgun and Alejandro uses the snake cam to see who El Sanambre is. And surprise, it's Valeria. You breach the room and these dudes take like four blasts each from the shitty ass shotgun. You corner her on the roof and take her prisoner. In the cutscene, it seems that Valeria and Alejandro know each other, and it turns out that they served together in the Mexican Special Forces, but she betrayed them to become El Sanambre. Then she cusses out Alejandro like my mother. Oh yeah, well you're a puta. She tells you where the missiles are, and then the mission ends. I'll give it a 7 okay. out of 10. I'm not a huge fan of the undercover and do things mission, but I like how there were multiple ways to reach the end. This mission's still playing a soap. You and the crew are assaulting an oil rig that Valeria says has a ballistic missile on it. You fast road below deck and clear this room. Yeah, I don't know if those were workers or cartel members, but I guess it doesn't matter. You move up the stairs and can actually get an achievement for killing this dude in the porta potty. Alejandro opens the door and this dude gets shit on. Clear the room and now have to clear the deck. You see the missile preparing to launch, so you kind of have to haul ass up to the pad. Except I get one tap like three times in this little ass hallway. You make it up and see that controls aren't in the container, and Graves says they're on the barge. You rope down and start moving to the boat and carefully board it. Now you have to move up the deck while also the containers and cargo and shit are moving around. And it's very uncharted, and of course it's not a bad thing. It's a really cool section, but eventually you make it up and breach this door. You clear the rooms and make it to the captain's deck. You get the controls, but it's too late to abort, so now you have to redirect the missiles to the oil rig. So now it's kind of a mini game where you have to press the right keys and also give Graves the right code. After that, the rig explodes. Back at Alejandro's base, Graves starts acting weird and says he's taking the base. No one needs to get hurt here. Are you threatening us? Soldier, I don't make threats. I make guarantees. So let's not do this. It appears that Shepard is in on this and Graves' name turns red. Alejandro attacks Graves and gets detained. Then Soap and Ghost start fighting and Soap gets shot. He escapes and head towards the city. Then the mission ends. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. There's the betrayal and the oil rig missions are always badass in Call of Duty games. Where are you, ghost? This mission soap is wounded and alone. Hey, that's the name of the mission. Ghost contacts you and tells you to get to the church. And honestly, I think Soap is kind of milking the, his injury because he got grazed in the shoulder, but he's limping like a motherfucker. Anyway, you sneak past some shadows and start looking for supplies to unlock the door. You grab some rope and a fan blade, and here they introduce the crafting system. You craft a pry tool to open the door. I'm going to kind of cut this mission down since it's pretty long and boring, but basically Graves and Shadow Company are killing civilians and interrogate them in order to find Hassan. You reach this area and it's the first kind of open area where you can kind of do what you want. In my case, I found this knife ghost left and used it to kill these guys. Then I use a homemade C4 to shit on these three dudes. You jump down and some comedy happens. That's passionate donor here. Speak English. It 
it's raining fucking hard. Now comes the fucking bitch ass part of this mission. This whole ass area is just AIDS. It took me over 10 minutes just to get past this part. It's insane. But once you do, you hop down and have to swim through this tunnel and underwater execute these dudes. You get up top end. Fuck. Got one near the church. Holy hell. Now this part is also hard, but not as hard as the other one, because they know you're there and are actively hunting you. But once you deal with them, you reach the church and Ghost takes out these two guys and hops the fence like a badass. You clear the street and jump into the truck and drive off. In the cutscene, Soap and Ghost arrive at a safe house Alejandro prepared, and Rudy is there already. Now they plan to rescue Alejandro from the base. Then the mission ends. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. It was super unique, but it was super long and hard. Graves will have this place locked down. Expect patrols on the outside. No doubt. We'll get up. <sighs> Guns, ammo, and charges in the pikes. This mission, you're tasked with rescuing Alejandro and the rest of the Los Vaqueros from the base, which happens to be a prison. Now, you'll notice that you can see the lights through some of the mountains and walls and shit. I don't know what glitch that is, but I couldn't fix it. You reach the outside of the prison and drop the guards up top. Then you shit on the dudes below and move up to the tower. You fast rope up there and follow Ghost to the control room. You breach the door and shit on the dudes inside. Now, Ghost goes to set up traps while Rudy is looking for Alejandro. So, remember that part in Model for 2019 where you have to guide the lady to safety? Yeah, it's the same shit, but better, since you can tell ghosts to kill people using his knife or pistol. So it adds another layer of challenge. Trash been on your eye. Time to take out the trash. Fuck it all. You can also tell ghosts to cause a distraction by turning off the generator. Also, look at this Assassin's Creed kill. No, I've got something else in mind. Fucking beautiful, sir. So after he plants all the C4, Rudy spots Alejandro, and you start moving to rescue him. You drop the guards, and Rudy does a Heisenberg. I am the one who knocks. Well, now they know you're here, so you open fire and clear the cell blocks. Reach Alejandro's cell. And yo, chill, bro. Damn. Now you face ride shield fucks and rescue the rest of the unit. You start fighting the cafeteria and have like a tiny ass bit of cover, but it's also balanced because they also throw like 20 enemies at you. Once you make it past the graveyard, I mean cafeteria, you start fighting in the prison yard. While fighting, a goddamn chopper flies in. Is motherfucking Captain Price the GOAT, baby? You fast rope on the wall and see that beautiful stash. And it's the first time the one for one boys are all together. You now have to defend the wall for a few minutes. Eventually, you get out of there and Ghost references the OG model for two. Shepard burned us. Then the mission ends. I'll give it an AI nice. of 10. Pretty standard mission, but the leading Ghost around part wasn't as bad as 2019. They were transacting American made ballistic missiles to our allies fighting Russians in the Middle East. The mission did not go as planned. This mission takes place two months ago and you play as Sergeant DePaulo who's in Shadow Company. You're in a convoy just carrying some cargo, aka the milk. You're in a car with Ericsson and Vance, but spoiler alert, you won't know these guys for long. The convoy gets stopped so you head up to see what's going on. You lean out and get ambushed. Legit all hell breaks loose while you're fighting. It turns out these are Russian insurgents helping out Iran. You request backup but Shepard denies it. <laughs> You crawl for the pistol and see that they have comms and try to warn Graves. So Shepard and Shadow are responsible for the missiles being in terrorist hands. They were trying to get the missiles to American forces in the Middle East, but it got ambushed. So Shepard tried to cover his ass by killing one for one since they were getting too close to the truth. What an asshole. Price calls Shepard and says, Then you plan to take back Alejandro's base from Graves and form the new Ghost team. I'll give this mission a 7 okay. out of 10. It was pretty cool playing a Shadow for a bit and got some plot details, but it was super short. Four Ghosts in the tunnel. Copy. Our codes still work. Affirmative. What's your status? One click from the gate with Soap a Ghost. Copy. Hold tight. Out. 
This mission you start as Gaz, and holy fuck, God himself is apparently in this tunnel. But you start to make your way through the tunnels with Alejandro's help guiding you. You come across some traps Graves put down here, so you smoke it to see the lasers and disable it. You do this a couple more times, and this dude legit scared the fuck out of me. You climb the ladder and are on the airfield. Price takes the chopper while you and Alejandro go secure Valeria. Now it cuts to Soap's POV, and him and Ghost are assaulting the front gate now that you have air support. You can mark targets using the spotter scope, and they just get shit on. Now you're in the base, and you get some armor, like Warzone, and you're gonna need it since legit every enemy you fight are armored which is super annoying you make your way through the base just killing motherfuckers and spotting for the chopper until you reach this building you're about to breach a door when it cuts back to gaz's pov so you and alejandro are clearing the first hangar then once you get outside you have to stealth your way past all these soldiers running past you reach the last hangar and clear it you secure valeria and cut back to soap's pov and that's the last time the pov will change thank fuck you clear this building and see that price got shot out of the air ghost goes to help so it's up to you and rudy to kill graves this fucker brought a tank to a gunfight so not only do you have to worry about the tank's big-ass cannon and machine gun, you also have to worry about bitch-ass little minions running around. In order to damage the tank, you have to run around and find C4 and throw it on that bitch. It only takes three, but I got this glitch where it played the cutscene, but I also died, which was weird. So now Graves is dead until they want to bring him back in Warzone and make you pay $20 to get him. In the cutscene, you interrogate Valeria on where the last missile is, and she says Chicago. Then Soap and Ghost say goodbye to Alejandro, and the mission ends. I'll give it a 9 nice. out of 10. It was pretty fun killing Graves and taking back his base. Wall 56 is our primary objective. It's well fortified with limited access. Sun may be hold up there. Copy. Let's nail this bastard once and for all, sir. This mission you play as Soap and have to find and disable the missile before it launches. You get on the roof, and fun fact, you can get back on the chopper and ride it around for a while, till you eventually fall and get under the map. So that's cool. You hook up and start rappelling down the side of the building in what seems like an homage to that COD ghost mission. You start clearing floors until you reach the last one, where you breach this window and jump in. You follow Price into the server room and have to clear it. Then you walk into another server room and have to clear it, but this time this fucker is camping with a shotgun. And another fun fact, I accidentally shot Price and he said, but after you clear the second server room, you enter another fucking server room? What the fuck is this? Google headquarters or something? After clearing it, you finally realize Hassan isn't there, so you breach the window and start heading down since Ghost spotted him on the 46th floor. They're nice enough to open a window for you, so you jump in and have to shit on everyone in this room, which is a lot harder than it sounds. You head down the stairs and see that the missile has launched, which is not good at all. It's aimed for DC, so uh, I guess we could let the commanders go. You meet up with Gaz and the Marines and corner Hassan in this room and go to snake the door. Price gets shot. So you and Gaz go to get Hassan. You use elevators and some genius decides to shoot an RPG and bring down the elevator. So you jump on Hassan. You grab the missile controls and dip. You now have to hide from the guards and do the missile mini game again, but with extra steps. So after you do the steps you're familiar with, you have to get to somewhere safe so it'll make some noise. After you disable the missile, you now have to find a weapon to kill the guards. I make a glass shiv and leave it in this dude's neck for a while. One down, one to go. I make a pry tool and use it to pry open this toolbox. I grab this box cutter and shit on this dude, then get shot. Hassan's bitch ass shoots you and tries to kill you by breaking the window. I mean, couldn't he just use that C4 to kill me? But anyway, you switch to Ghost's POV and go to snipe Hassan. What the fuck? Apparently, Hassan can only die from a headshot, fucking Superman or some shit. Then it cuts to a bar where the squad is celebrating, but then Laswell shows Price a picture of some Russian, and Price and the squad pass it around. Who is he? Makarov. Then the game ends with an after credit scene of some Russians putting together ceramic pistols to take over a plane with the singular text message. We'll give that mission an 8 nice. out of 10. Wasn't quite as good as the ghost mission, but still pretty damn awesome. Well, there you have it, Modern Warfare 2's campaign. I really enjoyed it. It was super unique and not like any of the other COD campaigns. I'm really glad they tried some new things like the Alone mission and the Violence and Timing mission where you're jumping from car to car. I mean, I'm a massive Uncharted fan, so it's not a surprise that's like my favorite mission in the game. They also gave Soap and Ghost so much more character, and the banter they have is amazing. But I don't think it's better than the original Modern Warfare 2, so I'll have to give it a nice. 9 out of 10. But it's overall a really solid campaign and definitely worth playing. Now for the announcement on the next game series campaigns. 
we'll be diving into the campaigns of Battlefield, starting with Battlefield Bad Company 2, since the first game isn't on PC for some odd reason. But like the video, and of course subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. See you.